light sucks. Oh, this is all recording. <laughs> That's funny. I'm just trying to find a better spot for light. You know what I mean? The world according to Chris! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm so sorry about last week. I just couldn't get it together enough to do a video. We're back and we're gonna be spilling some tea today, answering questions from my fans and followers and friends on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter. But before I get started, hit the thumbs up down below, like this video if you're excited for me to answer these fan and follower and friend questions and subscribe to my channel. I do post every week at 3 p.m. Friday at 3 p.m. I post every single week. So stay tuned, um, here we go. I have to tell you about what I'm drinking, which is Kylie Jenner's Starbucks order. Um, it is amazing. Everything you expect from Queen Kylie. This is a venti iced passion tea lemonade with three pumps of raspberry and three pumps of classic syrup. It is delicious. It's a little sweet and tangy. Um, I love it. So sipping tea, spilling tea. I had you guys, uh, ask questions on my various social medias. So here we go. Let's just get all the Starbucks questions right out of the way in the first few questions. Where do you get your Starbucks inspiration from? Um, a lot of different places. Um, my friends send me recipes now. My, my followers send me recipes now. People on TikTok post fun things. And I also just like to create my own based on my flavors that I like. Does Starbucks sponsor you yet? No, and we need to get on that. So let's continue tagging. Thank you. <laughs> What's your all-time favorite Starbucks creation? Well, my all-time favorite Starbucks drink is a peach green tea lemonade. It, it's just nothing is better than that. If you want to see me make it, I have a video of me making it at home. But um, my favorite creation that I think I've ever made had to be the most recent thing I tried, actually. It was the chai with the new brown sugar, the oat milk, and then I did a sweet cream cold foam on top, vanilla, and um, cinnamon dolce sprinkles. That just tasted like everything and more. Biggest overall inspo? Overall? Oof. I mean, I've said this before. I feel what really inspires me overall to, to be me and to be who I am and do what I do is really my family. I just want to make them proud. So that is what inspires me. But as far as overall, but as far as specific things like and people, I'm really inspired by Harry Styles and his fashion, the Kardashians, obviously, in the way they've paved, they've paved their own way and their own path, and they've created a sort of brand that was had never been done before. How are you doing? <laughs> How am I doing? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. I'm okay. You know, I'm I, I'm the person who I like to make the most out of every situation. So I'm just trying to take it day by day and enjoy myself amongst this craziness. When are you moving back to NYC? Spill the tea. Spilling the tea, I have no idea. That The answer is that I literally have no idea. Every time I say a date, it changes. So let's go with May for now. If you could be friends with any celebrity, who would it be? Well, I just, I just, Harry Styles or any of the Kardashians, for sure. Lisa Vanderpump. <laughs> I'm really obsessed with Ariana Grande, of course. Favorite animal. That's a great question. I don't like animals. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't like animals. Um, my favorite animal is my dog, Oliver. That's not to say all dogs. I don't like all dogs. I don't like all any animals. My favorite animal is my dog. My dream role. Hmm. I feel like my truest dream roles in life haven't been written yet. And they're going to be something that I'm able to develop. But my dream role in life is... Um, Ogie and Waitress, hands down. Absolutely, 100%. Your favorite article of clothing? It changes by the day. Right now, I feel like my favorite article of clothing is maybe the pants that I'm wearing. I thrifted for a dollar. They're really cute. Um, my favorite, like, other thing that I wear is this necklace, actually. It's a little diamond C. My mommy got it for me for Christmas because I've been talking non-stop I was talking non-stop about how much I wanted a C initial necklace and she got it for me as a surprise I didn't even ask for it thanks mommy least favorite dance I've ever been in I have an answer 
Can I share it? Yeah, I'm going to share it. <laughs> in college, I got cast in a lot of pieces. And there was one that stands out the most as being horrific. And I don't even remember the name of it. All I know is we called it the Blueberry Dance because we had these crazy blue costumes. And I had a horrible time with that rehearsal process. Let's just say the choreographer was not a nice person. Wouldn't be, it's not someone I'd ever, 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 ever work with again, ever. And the last question I'm answering is, sorry for the low energy today, you guys. I've been so uninspired lately, but I'm really excited to answer you guys' questions. The last question is, what is your motto in life? And I have a very, very specific answer. My motto in life is don't take yourself too seriously. And I've been saying it a lot lately, but it's just something that I feel like, ooh, a car. Don't take yourself too seriously. That's my motto. And that is going to be the end of the video. I promise I'll be back with more fun vlogs and challenges and content coming soon. Vaccines are coming out. The sun is coming out. Life is going to get better soon, people. And I'm so excited that all of you are watching me. I'm so grateful and thankful for you all. Um, I love you. Mwah.